we're going to show you how to make some candles today. Everybody knows that candle making is where it's at. You could put it on eBay, you could put it in your Etsy shop. We're going to show you how to make some real money. It really is just that easy. We're going to show you how to make your own candles that you can sell. Candle making is a lucrative business for many artisans around the world. Today we've got some pretty exciting stuff going on. We've got a couple different things, a couple tricks up our sleeve. This is episode number two of Candle Making, Son of Candle Making, Candle Making Junior. Candle Making Returns. Return to Candle Making. We've uh, done some experiments since we've done the last one. It's been a while. We've figured out a couple of cool things, and we've heard some of your comments, and we've uh, taken that into consideration. So we've got two things we're going to show you how to do today. We have went ahead and started with the boxes already. So last time, you remember, we made boxes. So you can check out the episode one if you'd like. But And we stuck the string on there with the popsicle stick. So you can see the wick is in there, and the popsicle stick is ready. So Another we thing are going on is you'll remember from episode one is you need a double broiler. So we have a um, hot plate with another coffee can inside of it and water. You don't want to put the wax directly into anything hot. because it's going to be impossible to scoop out. So you want to have it in a contained it could environment. Explode too. It could explode. I didn't know that. Turn this down. Turn that down a little bit. It's got a little high. So we're going to jump right in. We're going to show you how to make melt some candle wax. You can take the tea lights like we did last time. It's a little cheat just to make your own. We do not have crayons today, so we're not going to be coloring these. They're going to be white, but they're going to have two functions. Um, do you want to explain the first one, what we're doing with, uh, with these? We've got ice cubes here. It's part of your things that you need today. Yeah, we need ice, and then we're actually going to crush the ice, put the ice into the box, and pour the wax them, over it. Show them the ice here. So it'll create, oh. basically, uh, when the ice melts, it, simultaneously the emulsion, the wax will solidify. And you pour the excess water out and you have a Swiss cheese candle. So we're making a Swiss cheese candle. Now the other trick is a little more controversial, but uh, some of you, I think, would like uh, enjoy this. I don't necessarily partake myself, but we're going to be showing people how to conceal their... Tobacco? Their, not tobacco. The, um, Wacky tobacco, the, marijuana. Yeah, they're, they're weed. Uh, weed. So we've Endo, taken the tea light candle... Um, okay. We've taken the tea light candle container... And what we're going to do is we're actually going to put that in upside down so you have basically a little space made for the candles at the bottom near the wick. So once we have that down there, we now are going to pour the wax over it and create a little space for your, your, your weed. This does work. Like we travel a lot with the show. Well, we don't. Uh, we do travel. Europe, and we don't way, necessarily you, do this. Uh, we take our candles with us. We can hide our stash. And then when the dogs smell it, That's the, not true. all they smell is wax. We don't. We candles. don't. I don't smoke. I don't know. You know, I don't smoke. Okay. So, um, that makes one of us. But we're still going to show, we're going to still show you how to hide it if you really want to inside the wax. So, what we're doing is taking, we're going to go ahead and take the wick out you of the You can hide candles. anything. You can hide chocolate from your lover who is yeah. trying to take your candy. I like that. Maybe yeah. I should have started there. Yeah. So, take them out. You can hide right. money from the landlord. What we're going to do is we're going to hurry up and crush some, crush some ice. <laughs> We're going to show you here on the little camera here, the side camera. So there's a little water in there. We'll be okay with that. We'll just make sure that we don't put that inside the, the, uh, the First candle. First thing we need to do, though, is um, wax. So Let's Chris go is going to go ahead and get the wax started to melt. I've got the little container at the bottom upside down, and I'm going to crush Oh, man, some ice. Uh, now, you don't you have don't to crush it, it too fine. fine. Yeah, that's funny because I was just going to say the same thing. You don't have to crush it too fine. Go ahead and you know walk them through what you're doing, Chris, and then I'll continue you want to shop half here. Half-inch chunks of ice that you're going to pour into the uh, cardboard. I'm uh, removing the wax from the tea light candle. So we've got the ice chopped there. We've crushed it a lot. You guys can see we've crushed it not really tiny, but some chunks. Of course, there's a little excess water there at the bottom, which we'll remove later. So now, it's kind of a fun are you going to put I'm a little compartment inside of yours? Yeah. Okay. I'm taking tea light candles and melting them down to make a real candle. Because we all know there's not much you can do with this. It's like doesn't provide any light or heat or, or really anything. So I'm going to make this a usable candle. And what we're doing too is for all the divorced men out there, we're giving you an opportunity to use all your romantic tea lights uh, in, a, in a fun and maybe entertaining way. You don't have to, you no longer have to look at these and remember your wife. You can now melt these down, hide your weed. These were and, nice. Like if you 
if you're taking a long bath with your lover, you can put these all the way around the tub. Um, whereas a big candle might not fit on the ledge of the tub. So that's a good point. Okay. Uh, and so you want to make sure this. when you're handling the double broiler, um, it has its heating controls it's plugged into the wall. There's about um, 12 ounces of water. And then, like I said, a, a coffee can that I'm actually putting the wax in. So there's a barrier between the heat source um, and the melted, molten wax. And normally what you, you should have, have to do... Uh, you want to have a multi-tool. So this has 12 tools on it and one tool uh, with pliers. That way I can grab onto the metal to decant into the cardboard so I don't burn my hands. So, so. so also what you normally need to do is you need to have oven mitts. This is dangerous stuff. This is hot. It could burn yourself. You could do a lot of different things. You need to have safety glasses on and oven mitts. We don't have either today. We're going to kind of wing it because maybe, uh, you know, like uh, maybe keep a, a little cold, libri, Keep libri a cold libri. beer nearby. That way if the wax splashes on you, you can douse a little cold bit beer. of the cold beer um, to cool the area down. Okay, so we've got our candles here just so you guys can right, see. This is melting like We're crazy. melting. How's it looking? Let me see, Chris. Let me look inside of it. Don't let your kids look inside. We might actually have to come back. We'll take a little break and we'll be right back with melted wax. And we're going to show you how to make some real money. We're going to show you how to make some real money today. You got to remember that people with long beards are a little bit afraid of open flame. So be careful when you're lighting the candle. All right, welcome All right, back. All right, welcome back, everybody. We've got the uh, uh, wax melted. I feel like I have to talk louder. It's kind of loud. Okay, I'm going to turn off the uh, hot plate, hot pot, and get ready to decant. So remember, you've got your little canister in there upside down to give you a little compartment for you know anything you want. Oh, put the ice in. Okay, let's put some right, ice we're in. We're adding ice. So we're going to take the ice. It's kind of melted here. Hopefully at home you have a freezer to keep this in, but in the studio we don't have one. Um, we're trying to get Derek to buy us one, but we don't have one yet. Right. So you take a scoop of ice from your hand, just like this, and you put it into the cardboard first, Chris? Yep. Okay. I'm going to do it. Let's see what oh, happens. Yeah. So you just drop the ice in there. Now this is going to look, I think this should be pretty fun, I think. Okay, so the idea is the ice, the wa hot wax will melt the ice, but simultaneously cool down the wax. So then you so kill two birds the, with one stone. Yeah, the water and the, where the voids where the ice was will um, it'll be like a Swiss cheese candle. Thank you. Yeah. Turn okay. more. There's more. Yeah. It's oh, yeah. just it's, it kinda, it, it's cold, so it hurts your fingers a little bit. Yeah. Kind of numb. Maybe use like a, a soup ladle. A soup to ladle would your be hands. a great idea. Little little things like that make a right, much go. better experience. Okay. Put some more in. Yeah. No, this is good. I'm good. It's good. All yeah. right. Here we go. All right. Well, watch now we're gonna your... put the wax in over the can over the ice and over the little canister that's upside down. Let's do right. this. Watch your eyes. The canister is like this. Remember, so it's open and then right. down. Here we We've go. Got we use this to help. It's very hot. Be careful if you're a younger, you know, uh, audience member. Go ahead and have your mother or your father help you out here. That's cool. I wish we could show some of this. I'll show it right away. What it looks like. That's it, huh? That's it. So I don't know if you can see inside here. I'm gonna tip it. Hopefully it didn't. Uh, the ice doesn't. Um, I mean, What's the more? wax didn't melt. No, here. that's fine. So here. we got the ice in there. We got, got some ice. Okay, put some more right. in there. This. Oh, it's leaking on the table here. That's not good. That is not good. All right. Well. Um, Oops, so oh, well. be careful. Should have done a little better job taping, but okay, well, whatever. It is what it is. So we got the ice in there now. Hopefully the ice looks down. weird. Wow, that's cardboard. wild. So we're actually going to let this melt now. We've got the ice on here. We've got... This is going to be right. painted clean. we got ice in here. we got the wax poured over. Oh, we're going to wait. We're going to come back yeah, to you guys. Working. We're going to come back, right? Cool. Let's go ahead and take a break. Go ahead. All right, we'll be back. You gotta watch out if you have a long beard. Uh, we tend to be a little afraid of open flames, so be careful when you're lighting your candles. Okay. Welcome back. Give me another beer. Yeah. All right, welcome back, everybody. Make sure to wipe off the top. There. We finished the pour. <coughs> okay, right when you start pouring the hot wax onto the ice, obviously there's a lot of melting action, and the wax solidifies. However, once that heat has dissipated, you're going to have some ice that's trapped in your candle. So we don't have time to wait for this to uh, melt. Maybe put it outside in the sun a little bit, let, let the rest of it melt. We're going to go ahead and get started. You need your old friend the multi-tool back. This time I'm using the knife blade. And I'm going to make an incision and score along the corners of my box. 
and I'll show them here on camera. Let me give me that next, and I'll show All right. them. And so what I'm doing here, what Chris just did, is you're actually going to score just the, the tape on the edge. So you're going to go ahead and cut those, so whenever you can release the camera. All right, so then there's a little cutaway of what you're left with. Oh, and remove your popsicle stick. I cut it off, I think, right? Yeah, cut it off. So we've got four cuts. The tape is completely uh, ready to be removed. Now that is very cool looking. That cool, right? is awesome. Very cool. That is cool, Chris. Good job. I didn't think that was going to work. Yeah, it totally worked. Got to have faith, dude. Yeah, so we've got a very, very cool shaped candle here. Very carefully oh. remove the bottom. And... Go ahead and cut the string here. Let me show you. So you got the wick. And a little trick with the reservoir worked as well. Oh, so yeah. get, one of these. Yeah. get the ice out. It did work with the reservoir. Did and you have any problems? You have a little reservoir to store your uh, weed. Well, really anything. I don't. I just did that because somebody had told me about it. I don't. Anyway, so I don't look, we know from firsthand experience on the road that it works, and no, we dogs don't cannot smell it. Pass the candle. Okay. I would not say that. If you guys do that, I wouldn't do that because you guys can get in trouble. And There's I don't want to get in trouble. There's the candle. And one thing about this candle, it's very porous. So if you are having a little uh, night with your partner and you're about to make love, once you light this candle, you have about a minute and 30 seconds to finish up whatever it is you're doing in the bed. So work fast, double time it, double pump, and um, don't let the candle go out before... Uh, you guys are finished with your romantic evening. That's pretty gross. A little TMI there. Yeah. Swiss cheese candle. Swiss cheese candle, everybody. That's That looks great. Also, you can mix different colors, too. Like, you can put crayons in. You can have different color candles, when you, the tea light candles. I prefer pumpkin spice, my this favorite. Smells good. Looks good. Nice orange color. But these are actually pretty cool looking, too. So, do a little close-up action. Sell these on Etsy, make yourself some real money. Yeah. Maybe uh, sell drugs, make real money too. Drugs know. and candles. That's, that's kind of different. We wouldn't do that. Yeah. I wouldn't. Uh, I don't, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks.